Well, switching gears now to weather. Megan's here for us. Yeah. You've been tracking this interesting week we have going it on here. It is an interesting week, and every single time we've had a system come through lately, it's been one of those where you got to wait and see. Mm -hmm. We need to. Well, this latest model run, as I said, is dialing back a little bit, pushing a little bit more dry air in, not as consistent, not as steady overnight Wednesday and Thursday. So if that trend continues, and again, we need to see more than one model run really before we can call it a trend and before we can really rely on it. But uh, at this point, if that does continue, we're going to be able to dial those numbers back a little bit for you. I'm seeing some sunshine out there across Chicagoland right now. It's not necessarily warm, and we do still have some clouds in the distance, but you can see at least a bit of sun uh, kind of glistening off Lake Michigan. Bourbon A right now, David Sproat, 35 degrees. Elton Isley and Schaumburg at 31. I have Nancy Addy and Laporte at 34. And Patrice in Chicago also coming in about 34 degrees. So even though it was a really quiet start to the week, we are still looking for the possibility of snow to return to our area Wednesday into Thursday. That means tomorrow afternoon and evening into Thursday morning. And then Arctic air pushing in after the snow. And I mean, we're going to feel a punch of cold, the likes of which we haven't had in a while around here. You remember Remember, we've been running above average, uh, at least a little bit above average for the vast majority of this winter. Well, we're going to get a short lived but pretty uh, pungent uh, punch of cold air coming in here right now. Nice and dry on the radar storm system that was to our south and east is continuing even off into the mid Atlantic. What I see around Chicagoland is that by tomorrow, this is about six, seven o'clock tomorrow night, we're going to start to see that snow working up from the south. It continues across the area as we move into the overnight. We've got some scattered snow showers, but it's less intensive than it was when we were looking at uh, earlier model runs. What I see on the snowfall tracker from this right now has dialed back as well. And again, remember, I need to see a few more runs before I am sure that this is what's going to be going on. But uh, this is a good sign, at least, that it looks like we're going to fall now between about one to three inches area wide that dials those numbers back a little bit for us. Seven day planner shows way colder though Thursday into Friday. Um, just get ready for a real blast of <laughs> stuff we haven't felt in a while.